Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few things around my house that I've been planning and my garden status. I'm gonna probably do one of these videos once a week, probably on Fridays. I'm um, basically just gonna show you my progress on my house, what I've got going on outside, and just my little projects. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna show you my first thing that I've been working on. And this is my side garden. Um, yeah, it's a mess right now. Basically, you could see last year I had all my perennials right here. I had all my perennials planted, and today I've been spending the day digging them up. I had these old cinder blocks as a border, and it just, it didn't look good. And all of these, um, weeds are growing up in it. So I decided it'd be easier if I just dig them up, and then I, um, till it and get it all flat. And then what I'm going to do... So I'm just going to make this one big bed all the way from here, kind of, you know, cut it in the corner and all the way down. And so that's what we're going to do here. My husband got me a few flowers on last Friday. Um, I got some Sahara yellows, um, some blue Hawaiian agarinum, I guess you call it. These are some New Day mix, African marigolds, and some petunias so yeah that's just a few of the flowers that I've got so far nothing special yet well they are special of course because my husband got them for me but not a whole lot going on yet so I have three of these hanging baskets and all of them are they have these petunias in them and this random little pink on the side um there are actually different colors this one's got a um a darker pink shade and then this purple on the end with the white and this one's just like the first one um i'm gonna actually put some sweet potato vines in the back of them if you can notice i only planted on half of the basket that's because i'm planning on putting some sweet potato vines in the back and letting them grow down i have some gladiolias here um i got this pot from actually my husband got them from a trash dump a lady was um lady was throwing them out and um, he picked up a few for me and it's got some gladiolias in it I have another one right over here and it's got some red daisies in it same story let's see if you can see that it's kind of shady yeah so some red daisies going on so yeah and I still have firewood up here from the winter we got to get all that up um, I have all my chairs up here because it was just raining I still have to um, I'm going to get a wire brush on these and I'm going to paint them all color. I'm not sure what color to do them. Um, leave it in the comments below what colors you think will look good with these. These are old chairs that I just want to refinish. Okay, so here I have all my perennials that I have been digging up today over in my mess over there. And let's see. Okay, I have a Solomon seal coming up. I actually think I'm going to move this over. Let's see, you can see my shadow. There we go. I actually think I'm going to move this over to my garden once I get it done. And I have some lilies coming up here. And my favorite muscadine vine. I thought it actually died last year, but it's doing really good. So, yeah. Little birdies. So, yeah. Um... Let's see, what else can I show you? Um, I guess I will go ahead and show you what's going on at my grandmother's house. Um, we have these lilies growing on the side of her house. You can see they're not very straight. But basically, um, she had these three up here planted. And um, she just had a whole bunch of them planted together. So I just did a little spreading out. So that way um, they wouldn't be so thick and it was all the way down. Um, last year I planted some monkey grass and my husband actually knocked them down with the weed eater the other day but not these these are doing pretty good and I plan on um, getting some more monkey grass and going ahead and planting more in between so um, here's one of those pots I was telling you about he also got her too um, she planted her some lilies in there yesterday and 
I think they're just gorgeous. I'm thinking about getting a few for my house. She also has these ferns that she got on sale at um, Lowe's. But yeah, I just love them. I think they're just gorgeous. Um, I haven't started up here yet, but um, this is an old milk churn. Um, it used to be my great grandmother's, and last year I just had flowers coming out of it for her. I'm gonna do that again this year. So she has two tomato turby things, and I'm not very impressed. I have one that I'll show you. Mine's doing a little bit better because hers um, fell. And I'm just not impressed with them because they're not doing too good. Um, I think it would just do a lot better if I just went ahead and planted them in the ground. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So next thing I'm going to show you is I have this fertility tree that me and my husband planted last year um, on my due date. It was um, June 23rd. It was actually the first due date that I had for my first baby. And uh, I had just found out I was pregnant with the second one. So <clears throat> we planted this little tree and I, I planted two of them and one of them died and I pulled it up and I swear I thought this one was dead but we didn't mess with it and this year it's thriving and I don't know that just gives me a lot of hope this is actually a hybrid um peach and plum tree and so I think it's going to do great not sure if it'll bear fruit but just just the meaning of it means a lot to me. Um, I'll probably do a separate video just on that little tree when it's better lighting. And I'll just um, show you. I actually have a pear tree here. This tree has been here for a very long time. As you can see, it needs fertilized. But it still bears a lot of, lot of fruit. And it does a great job. So, next I'm going to bring you over here to my, top, my Topsy Turby um, tomato plant. And you can see it's not doing as good as it should. Um, let's see. This lighting is just terrible to be outside. Okay, so yeah. It's not doing as good as I'd expect it to do. Um, it's got some dead, dying flowers on it. But um, we also have this little rose bush. This has been here for a very long time. Um, I was thinking about moving it to in front of my house, but I'm scared it's going to die. And I don't want to kill it because it's been here for so long. So, yeah, basically that's what I got going on. Um, I think my next project is going to be with those cinder blocks that I had. Sorry, I just got under my shade tree, so I'm not even sure if you can see me right now. But um, right here, I'm wanting to build a fire pit with the extra cinder blocks I have. And so... Um, Maybe I'll start doing that this weekend or something. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Bye.